me quite a bit. And I've looked at Caspa. I've never actually went out and purchased Caspa. One, because the platforms that they offer Caspa on, I just haven't been able to purchase it anywhere. Um, I have said that I wanted to purchase it at a much lower market cap. Um, and as I see it at this higher market cap, I'm always like, well, I missed an opportunity, a larger opportunity. And I want to still purchase it because of the fact that I believe it could be a lot more valuable. The popularity for this position, as I see it on on Twitter, on YouTube, on um, just standard conversations that we have whenever it's, whenever cryptocurrencies are being brought up, you know, I hear Casper's name and I'm just like, it, it seems great. It seems legit, right? The overall project and everything really about it seems fantastic, but um, it's always just like a kind of, it's mentioned here and it's mentioned somewhere, but it's not like the main part of the conversation. So it's still like early in the game. Like typically when you, when you think about cryptocurrency and you talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, you know, ADA, all these other ones, Solana, right? Then you hear somebody, you know, come out and mention, um, Terra Luna, but before, before it was, you know, it crashed and everything happened. Somebody mentioned Terra Luna every, every now and then. And then it started to really creep up and started to push into the the top 100, push into the top 50, push into the top 25 and, you know, be worth $40 billion. And then people are like, wait, this, the Terra Luna is, is in the conversation a lot more. Like that's kind of where we're headed. It seems like for Caspa to where it's not fully in the conversation there whenever uh, something is, is brought up. But it's definitely getting there while it's being worth, you know, a billion dollars worth of a market cap right now. It's definitely finding its its sea legs. It's finding a way to get into that conversation. And it doesn't need to do much in order to do that. Right. The, the it kind of speaks for itself, you know, not only just uh, understanding the the use behind it and, you know, the protocol behind it, but also you're looking at um, the community, the popularity where people are just saying, hey this looks like something that could be way bigger. It could be that next Solana and what we are looking for, right? Solana went from, what was it, like less than a billion dollar market cap. It was really low and then all the way up to almost a hundred billion dollars. That's what we're kind of looking for. Not only a 100X, but at this point, if you would have bought last year, you would have seen you know, maybe even get to a thousand X, right? Even, maybe even more than that, because you're seeing it at- too. It's Black As Tiger Miner here. A... Welcome you back to the Black Tiger Miner YouTube channel. So remember, Caspa, Caspa, Caspa. And if we can see, there are a lot more influencers getting into the Caspa game, which is kind of what we wanted, right? We wanted to uh, get the adoption out and get people talking about it so the price goes up. And... I'm going to do today's video is about the price picking up and is Casper gearing up for a new all time high in October. So we made it through September, which is typically the worst month to invest in. So now that we're in October, some people are calling it October, but the crypto market's probably going to start running in October. And if this happens, Caspa would be a good investment. This is not financial advice, but you should see some movement on the price of Caspa starting today and tomorrow. So let's go look at the uh, Twitter channel real quick, and then we'll get back to another couple of Caspa videos. So here, growing together, sh stronger together. We stand with Caspa. This is a pretty cool post from the Caspa Army. People will be fighting Caspa and continue to grow. I'm all in. I'm all for it. Foot is what brought me to Caspa initially. Someone in this KDA community kept continuously fighting Caspa on the feeds, and I was like, what is this Caspa thing? So that was just him talking about Casper, but I like this. Probably going to put this uh, image up in a video somewhere. Casper miners where the treasures. Miners know where the treasures. Uh, follow the miners. That's pretty cool. 
All time high is coming, in my opinion, to my fave cast, KAS. And this is 0 0.049. So we'll see what the all time high is there here. Casper retest successfully done. Cast holders, let's fly now. So there's a lot of people saying that Casper is going to take off today. This week, anticipate new all time high of 0 0.06 with favorable crypto policies coming into play the market's heating up it's just a start for caspa not the finish line and then jim ski bums talking about the tangent wallet and uh caspa theme wallets but i heard someone had their tangent wallet hacked so i'm not sure about that but I'll look to see if there's an article about it and then get it to you guys. And this is like to, uh, Crypto Chris. For so let's see what he's talking regret. about. And so I'll be many right back. People will have in the next coming months. And I'm speaking for the Caspa investors. Okay. We have some Caspa investors that are pessimists. And always we have pessimists in the crypto space and believe that Caspa will only go to one dollar to two dollars and then uh that's gonna be the peak of the caspa i recommend you to do your research around caspa even more deeply if you are this type of guy that you believe that caspa cannot surpass the two dollars and the maximum that caspa can go is the one dollar two dollars guys i recommend you to do more research around caspa around crypto space to realize why we are in the crypto space how bitcoin actually surpassed the one trillion mark why it surpassed that to see all the bull cycles in uh the previous years and put all of these things together put it down and you're gonna realize that with the money that are coming which are approximately estimated 10 trillion dollars guys caspa can be easy not at two dollars but can be easy at ten dollars okay and even more and even more ten dollars is mine conservative as you know i believe that we can see caspa like fifteen dollars uh, or even more than that twenty dollars and prices like that okay because it can scale up up to 500 billion by the first bull run. so what's the mistake that many people will regret they're gonna sell early Okay, this is a major mistake that many people will do for Caspa. They will sell very early. They're going to sell like a half bag in the $1, 25% uh, at $1.50, and all the bags of Caspa at $2 because they're going to have the belief that Caspa price won't pam anymore. And the big financial institutions, the elite ones that they're going to buy Caspa at that point, they're going to buy all of your bags and they're going to pam the price of Caspa like to 500 billion, 400 billion, 300 billion, and etc. And this happened, guys, with Bitcoin 2 in 2017 in front of my eyes. Uh, I was buying Bitcoin back in the days. I had no completely idea what is bear market, what is bull run. I didn't know. I just uh, was buying like without any kind of knowledge. I explain all my story in, in the Wealthnet for those who would like to interesting to know my bio. Uh, guys, um, in 2017, people actually were expecting to see like a bull run. Okay, they were expecting that Bitcoin will pump, but because they were pessimists. Uh, like we have the people right now that they say uh, Caspa can go up to $1, $2 max, cannot go higher than that. These people had back in the days the same approach with Bitcoin, that Bitcoin will go in the bull run $2,000, $3,000 max. This was actually their approach. And when actually bull run started and they saw like Bitcoin pubbing like crazy, Personally, even without experience, I had the belief that Bitcoin is the future. It's going to get to the moon. So my approach back in the days was I will just wait and the price will go always up. This was my approach back in the days, which was in some point correct. And look what happened. Uh, like November 2016, the price was $750. And a couple months later, started moving up. Uh, we saw like in May 2017 the bitcoin price for the first time at 2000 yes definitely don't want to sell caspa too early i think that would definitely 
be detrimental to the process. So keep in mind when the price does start to go up, not to sell out, right? To hold on to it and see how far it goes. Or it's not financial advice. Do what's best for you. If you need to sell it at the dollar, sell it. But I would recommend to hold on to see if it goes higher than a dollar, which I'm sure it will, as he mentioned. So the dashboard's finally back up, and we're at a 30.36 hash rate uh, petahash. 30.33 petahash is hash rate. Percent mined is 72%. Next reduction is four days to 165. And I did finally get another KS0 that should be here within a week or so. So I'm definitely going to be in the next reduction. And as mentioned previously, solo mining is definitely more profitable than pool mining for the KS0. Let me know your thoughts about that. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, Caspa, Caspa, Caspa. So if we can see here, we're at uh, 0 0.050. Trading volume is 14.5 million. And we're back over the 1 billion market cap. So let's go. Let's go. Um, let's see here. Uh, active address is peaked. I think that's when they had that problem uh, last week with that transaction for that uh, Rust updates. Uh, public node to see if I'm on here. And it appears I am on here finally. Interesting. So we do have the node set up. And let me know if any of you guys are hosting a public node or not. I need to make that update and then we'll see how that goes. So Live Coin Watch is saying market cap is 1 billion. Uh, 24 hour volume is 13.1. Vine versus cap is 1.25. Uh, last hour it's down point. 5.5%. Last 24 hours were down 1.67%. Last seven days were up 6.51%. 30 days were up 42.8%. 90 days, 112.7%. A uh, year, we're up 1,192, which is good. We like to see that. Current supply is 20.9 billion. Total supply is 20.9 billion. Max supply is $28.7 billion, and total market cap is $1 billion. So back to our friends at CoinGecko. Remember, from Gecko, if you're looking to sponsor a attractive young YouTuber right here, let me know what you think. Um, but we're, we're riding with CoinGecko because CoinGecko has always been there, and we'll remember who brought us to the party. So CoinGecko's rank is 44 at 0 0.050, down 1.6%. Total market cap is $1 billion, finally back over the billion mark. 24-hour uh, trading volume is $13.4 million. Fully diluted valuation is $1.4 billion. And if you noticed, I'm not sure if you're watching this, but this fully diluted valuation is slightly creeping up. So keep an eye on that. Circling supply is $20.9 billion. Total supply is $20.9 billion. Max supply is $28.7 billion. And now for the good stuff. 24-hour um, low is 0 0.0495. 24-hour high is 0 0.051. 7-day low is 0 0.0456. 7-day high is 0 0.051. Trading volume is $12 million. Market cap is... 44. Look at we flattened back out. All time high is 0 0.0538. We're down 6.9% from that. And that was September 20th, 13 days ago. And the all time low is 0 0.000171. We're up 29,000%. And that was over a year ago. So, um, who is this? Casper Silver is talking about the tangent or this Caspium Live. And I think he talks about that wallet as well. 
So let's see. Finally live. You can now download it on the App Store or the Play Store. So if you guys have Android, iPhone, you can go ahead and check the stores, look up Caspium, and you can now download the official version. It's no longer in the beta version. There's a lot of features on this. They recently added 12 seed phrase support. So that means if you do have the website Caspa wallet, you can now import your 12 word seed phrase into the Caspian wallet here, and you'll have your funds on the app instead of using the website. Personally, I would switch over to the app instead of the website because we've seen before in the past how the website does struggle and could face attacks where the website goes down. And then app would be a little bit better in staying active at all times when those kind of things happen to the to the website. So a lot of people are gonna ask the question, is Caspium safe and secure? Currently, there hasn't been an audit done on the code, but there is a person in the Caspa Discord who looks at code and is able to confirm that there is no types of backdoors or anything. But this is the same exact app that has been in development for the past months. The same person finally launched it out and the code is open source. Anyone can check it out. So is it safe? It's pretty much as safe as you keep your seed phrase. Your seed phrase should be kept offline. Please, please never take a picture of it store it in the cloud or anything like that, write that down on a piece of paper and keep it in a safe place. And I always would recommend people getting a cold storage instead of using these hot wallets. A cold storage will definitely be the most secure place to hold your cryptocurrency. Last but not least, Tangem and Caspa. Now, they had let me know that this website was supposed to go live on October 2nd. I'm currently recording this on the 30th of September. But this website was supposed to go live on October 2nd. Someone has found the website for the Caspa and Tandrum partnership. So I would just wait till October 2nd, just when they make the announcement to fully go on this and purchase this. I'm not going to put the link to this in the description, but we do need 350 orders so that these cards can be put into production. Currently, there's 344 that are needed. And when this does go live, my code Caspa Silver in all caps. We'll so that was Casper Silver talking about the you don't already know, Tangent Tandrum Wallet in the new makeover. Tangent and they card. Um, I'd recommend you guys looking into that or looking into a cold storage wallet as well. Make sure you get your crypto off the exchange. So this is just a quick Monday update. Happy Monday, guys. Remember, Casper, Casper, Casper. And uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want to talk about any other cryptocurrencies or if there's any breaking news about Caspa. So we need to create a community. I do have a Discord. I'm in the process of setting up. I just haven't got there yet. Been kind of busy. But I do want to get your feedback because the community is kind of what drives the whole initiative. The project is kind of from information that we get from other people. And I know there's a lot of smart people in the community from the comments. So keep the comments up and kind of I can use your comments to discuss or if there's any news or any breaking things that you guys have, let me know so we can talk about it. And also, I did finally get uh, monetized. So you can see in the um, description or below the video, I do have the caspa t-shirts that's just one of them i need a time to set up the rest of them from i think it was on etsy or something but then i can put it into uh, youtube so you guys can purchase it there let me know what you think about the t-shirts i did get a t-shirt and it's on the way so once i get it i'll start wearing it and let me know what you guys think about that but definitely comment and give me your ideas and your feedback so we can discuss it in the videos going forward Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you guys for the likes. Thank you guys for help spreading the word about the Black Tiger Minor YouTube channel. We're getting close to 4,500 subscribers. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm really happy that you guys are getting the word out and you like the channel. And let me know if you want to change anything. But I don't want to hold you guys too long. This is Black Tiger Minor signing out. And let's get back to the money. And remember, Casper, Casper, Casper. We're going places, guys.